Yeah, the other one on the side of the bench says sinks this thing for once and for all. Got that for a start on my header. And then it may just spin it slowly, so yeah. Nowhere near enough cold cranking amps. But yeah, I get the sat made of it at least. It's just turning over. Gives it a little bit of speed. Yeah, it doesn't have enough to hold it slow though yet, but it's enough to run the motor. I've got to find myself a bigger mot. Fairly warm. Yeah, I have myself a much bigger mot where I'm going to transform than this to do that. This is way too small for this something like this. So, yeah. Let's see. Definitely running. Yeah, it's solid, I might go. Turning over, turning over, turning over. I'll use a roller to test it. Yeah, it works. I'll probably test it with a MIG roller. A MIG roller would be the same thing. Turn it down to about, yeah, 14 volts. Ground it there. Put your electrode across those two. Mm -hmm. Should start up. I'm going to try that, see how that goes. This off, put this away. Oh, yeah. Okay, viewers, what I've done, you just lift this clutch up. You lift this when you change the arm um, and feed the wire through. Just to, 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 uh, to stop the arm um, or disable the wire feed, just unengage it. Then what you do, using the side of that tip, have it on there. Yeah, it's got to be changed anyway. On there. Yeah, that's 20 volts, way too much. Try 14. Yeah, I warmed it up a little bit too much. It's just still okay. Well, there you go, it's fine. That's how you can bench test the starter motor. Easy as that. So yeah. Crank it down to 14 volts, like as if when a car batch is full, it's obviously 14 foot 5, but 12 cranking, but 14 is just as good. So yeah, and if you want to burn one of those out by doing that, you turn it flat out to 30 volts and burn it out, but I don't want to do that. So yeah, that's how you can bench test a starter motor with a welder, a MIG welder that is. So yeah, thanks for watching.